get that big text box out of here. Recently I did a pull skin if I should use my voice and most people did like the idea, so let's just give it a shot. The mod that I'm gonna show today was made by this person, and as the name says, it has 21 trinkets. So let's just start the show, guys. remember to like and subscribe as well. The first trinket is Odd Candy Corn. This trinket gives you 50% chance of taking fake damage while using Cross Bullets. Basically this means having a chance of taking fake damage while using stars, pills, etc. Magician. You can use this trinket if you have any item that gives you something when you take damage. Magician. The magician. The magician. Next we have the anarchy. This trinket gives you a 4% chance of shooting a fire mine tier. Not only that, but it also gives you a 1% chance of shooting an explosive tier. Next we have Jack's Bean. This thing can give you one more luck. But if you have any bean active item and you go to a different floor, the trinket will give you a magic motion. Once it happens, the trinket will disappear and you lose the luck up. But you get a magic motion, so who cares? This works exactly with all these bean active items. If you already have magic mushroom, the trinket will just disappear on the next floor. So in this case, it is just one extra luck for one floor. And next we have bloody dust. This pile of redstone gives you range and shot speed when you take damage. You get exactly 1.75 range and 0.07 shot speed each time you get a hit. Compared to Bloody Lust or Bloody Gust, this one doesn't have a limit, so you can do this. Yes, you can get as much shot speed to make the game unplayable. <laughs> but luckily, this only works for the rest of the floor and not the rest of the run. If you drop the trinket, all the stats are removed until you take it again. Next, we have Blue Balls. This trick can make you scream after you spend 5 seconds in the room with the enemies. The screen will damage and push the enemies, but it works only once per room. The screen does exactly 48 to damage. Next, we have the Crumble Cigarette. You have a 5% chance of getting a black heart on hit. It was with so damage as well, so you have to show it quick by missing that. Next we have Double Bug. It has a chance of spawning one of those two spiders on clear rooms. Yeah, it just spawned once and doesn't work in every room. Uh, that's it. Next we have the Wish Star. It has a high chance of giving you a beneficial effect on the next floor. For one of the start, the good effects can be positive effects of kills or golden pickups. And after you get the reward, it starts destroyed. However, it has a small chance of just breaking and not giving anything. Next we have the Jersey Skull. This trinket gives you a 1.25 damage multiplier. But now each time you go to a new floor, you have a 50% chance of getting a broken heart. Each time you get a broken heart, you are going to kill this laugh. If you drop the trinket, you will lose the damage multiplier, but the broken heart is still there. Next we have peace. If you take damage, you have a 12% chance of spawning a friendly angelic baby. This effect only works once per room. Mm -hmm. 
If you hit 10 times in the same room, you spawn a charm Gabriel for one room. Next we have Pixie Stick. This thing can give you small tears and shot speed up. But it has a 25% chance of giving you the way you cap effect when you enter a room. The effect is removed after you clear a few rooms, or you can actually get it again after another room. Next we have the pocket traffic light. This trick has a 30% chance of doing the pause effect when you enter a room. Next we have the green candy. When you take damage, you charm all the enemies around you. This is not a chance or something specific. It works 100% of the time. Next we have one that I'm not gonna even try to pronounce. If you have one in a hard heart, you do a special effect when taking damage. If you take damage when your heart is like that, you do the book of the dead effect. This effect only works once per room. And yes, it works with great damage, which is another proof that all Wolverine is actually a really good item. Next we have the Everlasting Reward. This thing can give you 0.30 damage. But if you take damage, it has a chance of breaking, removing the damage loose for giving you a sacrificial dagger. Which in my opinion is a really good deal, I'm not gonna lie to you. Well, let me correct what I say. When a trigger is destroyed, you will mostly get the sacrificial dagger. But you also have a really small chance of getting most knife. Next we have the cocktail screwer. This trick gives you a 2% chance of shooting an ocular rift tier. This tier can also move like the IO to your cold tears. Next we have an ice cream. You should have a charming ice tier every 30 tiers. If the tier doesn't kill the enemy, it will charm it, but if it does, it will freeze it. Next, we have the off-tech. You have a 2.5 chance of shooting a special tier. This tier will teleport the enemy to another position in the room. I think this effect is hit in the actual game, but one not use. Only in a few tier effects items like Fury Cake. Next, we have the Octopus Pick. When you take damage, you have a 75% chance of creating a crypto that petrifies. This feels similar to the old version of the Holy War. Next, we have Cheese. It has a 3% chance of shooting a Poison Tear and a 2% chance of shooting a Tear with Fear. Next, we have the Fragile Potion. If you get damage twice in the cell room, it applies weak next to all the enemies. This basically means doing global damage to the enemies. But the drinking has a downside. This drinking has a 20% chance of breaking once it applies weakness. Which is why I lost the drinking immediately. And just to have fun, here's how all the drinkers combined look like. And well, this one the only one to drink a small showcase. The link is in the description as always. If you have any opinion, questions, suggestions, or think that I've forgotten something, leave it in the comments. Also, leave it in the comments if I should continue using my voice or just stay with the traditional text. And well, as always, goodbye and have a great day.